Namaste. <laughs> namaste, namaste. Welcome everybody. We're going to have today a level, a standard level two with Clau, which is, she's an amazing practitioner and, and a yoga teacher, a standard yoga teacher. And, and what is beautiful today, not only to have her here, but is we start a new cycle, a new red dragon for us. It's a, it's a way we, we create a new cycle of perception. She was sharing with me, then she uh, did like a one cycle of self-practice, no? And later, maybe she can share what, what it experienced, but it's so beautiful that she can dedicate, say, you know what? I'm not gonna be in class, I'm not gonna do anything, but for 20 days, I'm gonna follow my own practice, follow the Mayan calendar and all these things. And now maybe it's a new, a new cycle, maybe now uh, she want to follow the class, uh, what I just said is every 20 days we can decide to make a, a change in our life. We can realize, okay, you know what, I'm going to do this for 20 days to see what happens. Many times that we, when we practice something for 20, 21 days, 40 days, uh, create some kind of impact in our, in our body, then many times we want to continue, you know, doing what, one, what is feeling good for the body, for the mind, and for the heart. Three energies of the red dragon is about um, nurturing the body, the sense of being in the physical body, and rebirth. We, we experience today like a, the new way of living, like you can allow yourself to rebirth into a new energy. Today you can decide, even we have with the full moon energy, you can decide, I'm gonna go into this level, into this practice, into this commitment. Commitment is something we need for the practice of yoga. When we commit to do something for 20 days, I'm talking today about 20 days because it is the cycle of the seals of the Mayan calendar, then the standard yoga we follow. But you can start in whatever moment and follow something with commitment. So today we're gonna to start with all this kind of energy. We're gonna start something new. I'm gonna commit in some way to nurture myself in a way is good for me, benefit my physical body, my mind, my heart, my senses, and the most important, and align myself with my purpose in life. Because we can commit to do many things, but sometimes that commitment are very far away of your purpose. My invitation as a yoga teacher is to commit, do the same. <laughs> do the same in different forms. If you get tired, do it this way or this way, but going into the same direction. Never change the goal. Yoga, yoga path needs clarity and focus and purpose means every 20 days we can start something new but always supporting and and and, and, and getting aligned with what we really want for purpose of life we're going to enter into a pranayam this pranayam is going to help us to focus our mind into one uplifting energy <clears throat> from the base of the spine up to the crown of we're gonna do the Loma Pranayam with in the inhalation. We're gonna divide the in breath in three parts, pausing between each breath. And when you get to the top of the inhalation, exhale fully in one time. Okay, let's do five together. Let's start inhaling one third. Pause. Inhaling the second part. Pause. Inhaling the last part. Exhale fully in one exhalation. Inhale one third. Inhale second third. Inhale last part of the in breath. Exhale fully in one complete exhalation. Inhale one third. Inhale second. Inhale last part. Exhale. 
continue with the same side because I'm still going to go one back stop. Second back. Last back pulling leg. Make sure you feel the lungs as much as you can. Exhale fully. Empty out the lungs and the stomach. Bring your hands up to your heart. So let's take a moment to put all the ideas and energies together. Today is a new day to nurture myself with a new habit and increase the sense of being in this world to create physical and motherhood energy. Like nurture ourselves like the Divine Mother um, will do for us. Feel support supported by nature, by life, by, by the universe itself. And allow this intention create a new habit, healthy habit, for you to really create a, a strong character. And from a strong character, create a wonderful destiny in life. We're going to say three on and one Purna Mantra to set the intention and start the chant. Can you join me? Let's start standing in front of your mat and let's start looking to the camera. We're going to place the feet, keep distance apart, keep distance apart. Very much is two hands, and we're going to put two hands in between the arch of your feet. I like to measure sometimes, even if I feel like I'm perfect, I like to, to even check. Shoulders up and inhale deep. Exhale, release your hands down, out of the your arms. Inhale, arms up, look up, take a deep breath. Exhale, forward bend. Okay. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, step back to plank pose. 
holding down very in and out. Walk your feet a little bit more back now. Walk your feet more back. Scoop yourself around it. Melt your heart. And while you're going down, keep leaning forward. Go down, leaning forward, come back, leaning forward, leaning forward, leaning forward. Now, interlace your hands behind your back. Scoot your shoulders back. She's gonna push every toenail down to the floor and I'm gonna help her uh, pushing the pinky toe down. This is gonna increase and she can lift it up. Look up, 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 a smile and release down to the floor. Now put your hands beside your neck. No, behind the neck, good. And now go up, mm -hmm. lifting up. And now I will lift in the legs, and you can lift in the legs by yourself now. Big toes together, head up, head up, head up, 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 look up, and release. Beautiful. Now, hands, uh, set your hands for forward of all, shoulder up to your ear, side body long. And we're going into the first cobra. As you see, she has the hips down to the floor, hands are super engagement. Shoulders are rolling back, but down. Uh, it's not any any congestion here. She feel I can see all the strength is in the triceps, which is working hard. Release down, flow back, down dog. The first down dog, we can bend one knee and the other. Take uh, one bend of the knee, the other one, and you combine the breath and the movement. Now. Be aware about your mula banda. We are gonna be level two. Level two requires be super aware about your mula banda, ujjayi breath, and spanda action. Right foot forward between your hands. Left foot forward between your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow into your heart. Inhale, rise up. Arms up. Exhale, forward bend. And if you want to come, you can go this way first. No, I'm going to my forward practice. Go back. Walk back a little bit, not loudly. Good. With, only with the feet. Good. Now, scoop your tailbone. And when you lean forward, go down, lean forward at the same time. The Pisella. Good. Now, Cobra or Upper Dog. Maintain the pinky toe rooting. Exhale, release down, flow back, down, down. Five deep and strong ujjayi breath. Let the breath to guide you into your practice. Feel the whole weight of your body going into your legs. And you release all the tension in your upper body and more weight into the legs. Right foot forward between your hands, so much under to the right. Open your right foot 45 degrees and open up. Right arm to the sky, lengthen, and the same arm behind the back, and you can reach to the floor, but if it's today, maybe it's a noise too much, maybe you can micro bend your, your elbow and you can create this kind of twist. Inhale deep. Exhale. Two more deep breaths, open heart, and when you're ready, vinyasa, there's a beautiful heart, but you cannot see the beautiful stretch. Push up, mm -hmm. cobra, shoulders back, flow back, down dog, we went to the other side, left foot forward between your hands. Now keep your right hand in reach tops, left hand, left knee, inhale, open up. Keep the opening, left arm up. The same arm, open behind the back and hold. Micro bend your right elbow and that you will have more space. And the back leg, as you see, Claudia's leg is strong, lifting. The heel, the back heel pushing back. All the time push it back. Mm -hmm. And vinyasa. Excellent job. You see she's going back, going to plant, take a deep breath, and from there she's going halfway. Flow back down. Five feet strong. Good right breath. Right foot forward between your hands. 
back heel down and fire Satyanasana. Put your right hand outside of your right foot, sitting bones back and apart, scoop your tailbone, arm over the head. Keep the arm um, super engaged, the pinky finger, leading the way, creating the inner rotation of your arm. Now, we can add a block into this pose. You're gonna put the block a little bit away from your foot, your hand on the block, and now she's gonna bend your elbow. Put the elbow behind the neck, and I'm gonna help her, like the whole upper body, will go into a mini back leg. Back leg super strong. Keep pushing the back leg back. Back, core strong. Good, and from there, vinyasa. If you we maintain the back leg strong, you're gonna have this kind of awareness in the core. You can go to high, high cobra, down, and go back. Let's put forward, back heel down, fire satyanasana to the left, sitting bones back and apart, scoop tailbone. The back leg, keep pushing back as much as imagine that she has something, and then make her to engage the core. From here, I'm going to put the block. The block is good because we're going to have a little bit more extension in the back and with her back leg strong, she just, from the core, allows it just to open the upper body. Go back, maintain. Engage the back leg, one more. Good. And come back to the center. Vinyasa, one push-up, one cobra. Upper top, you can go there a couple of breaths, then to flow, shoulder back, flow back. Heart deep and strong breath. Keep the breath active. Keep the arms in outer rotation. And I'm doing some adjustments to her to help in her to feel more in the pose and relaxing her in some way inside the pose. Draw the leg back, three legged dog, lean forward. Go halfway down, pause. Push back strong, right foot forward between your hands. Both hands in your front knees, or hips, then the in, arms in front of you. Squeeze your shoulders back. Pad the back arms up, and she look up into the hands. Like you see Claudia's, ah, uh, Practice for me is perfect because she maintains the alignment principle while she really keeps working and bring the hips. The arms are aligned with the ears. She gets strong. I would just suggest for her to step this power down. And from here, bring the left arm and the back leg. And the other hand behind the neck. Keep working with the back hand. Squeeze the leg into me. Hold your leg in. Walk the back hand there. Let it keep that going down, going down, going down. Good. Vinyasa. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg back, three legged dog, lean forward. Very strong. Go halfway down. Push back strong, left foot forward between your hands, both hands in your front knee, and take your moment to squeeze hips, shoulders, belly in, ribcage in, arms in front, squeeze shoulders, pala back, arms up. Keep the back leg in the inner rotation. Mm -hmm. The heel keep pushing out, nice. Arms still going up and back. Pelvis forward and down, forward and down. Inhale, lifting the pelvis up a little bit, now, and put your back hand, bend this, and keep the awareness and the hips, forward and down, slowly, forward and down, this side. Mm -hmm. One more. Nice. Vinyas. And you breathe. Five deep and strong breaths. 
این عدو مزرد کنم Both hands in your front knee, belly in, arms in front, switch shoulders back, palas up, arms up. Now go the forward and back with the hips now. One, two. Now bend your elbows and extend your shoulder, hands back, shoulders in, and melt in pelvis. One, two. Inhale, transition to warrior three. With the hands behind the head. Now the elbows lifting up and that is gonna help in her to create a pushing with the head. The back heel pushing back like she has something to push. And bring this hip down, straight your top leg. <sighs> Arms straight. Keep pushing back heel to knee, straight the front, the bottom leg. Good cloud, both hands down to the floor stand. Good. From there, both hands down to the floor. Preparation for hand handstand press. Release the neck. I'm going to be in this side because she's gonna jump and go. Exhale up. Boom. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze. That's it. Squeeze, 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 and push the heel up. Let me take this hand from you. Scoop your pelvis now. Thank you. Push up. Push up, push up. Nice. Vinyasa. Inhale, cobra. Okay. Long back. Okay, left foot forward. No, left leg back, three legged dog. Take a deep breath before we're going into another uh, part. Lean forward. Go halfway down, push back strong, left foot forward between your feet. Both hands in your front knee. Square hips. Arms in front of you, push shoulders back, palas up, arms up. Bend your elbow deep and bend your elbows. And now she's gonna use the strength of the neck and the lifting of the shoulder, push your shoulders up and hips down. Push up through the shoulder and hips down to the foot. Forward and back. Forward and back. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, transition to warrior three. Take your time. Now, start leaning forward. Imagine you have a block. Now, do you see your toes going this way? We have to do even the opposite. Put your heel away from you. Good. And your hip back and extend your arms. Good, good, good. Both hands down to the floor. Stand and split. Engage your leg and separate the leg away from your ground. Like you want that one. You want the top leg, like engage and away from you. Go back. From that, hands set. Relax, inner rotation, and exhale. Go. Good. Now, here, I'm gonna help in her a little bit with the back bend. Heels up, you're working on the heels up. Good, good, good. Nice, down, and come back. Inhale, you engage your arms and legs. Every time you exhale. 
in arms apart. Basi stasana to the right. Keep the right hand a little bit. Good. Perpendicular open. Scoop the elbow. The same thing I do for you. Enhance them. Just scoop your tailbone and lean back. Lean back. Lean back until you're going organically into all three. Uh-huh. Keep follow your hand. Keep pointing this foot. Engage. And come back to the center. Going to the other side. Bring it forward. With both feet. Try to touch the floor. It means she pointing this and she lifting the hip as much as you can. Scoop the tailbone. You look into your top arm and scoop the tailbone. Scoop the tailbone until the scooping of the tailbone taking you into the wall thing. When you are there, you push to this foot and come back to the center. Down dog. Right foot forward between your hands. Back heel down, pass back on asana with the left hand on your hip. Sitting goes back and apart. Scoop, uh, sitting goes back and apart. Straight your front leg to three on asana. Scoop tailbone, belly in, arm down. If you feel like maybe today you need a block, I will have a block from her, which you will enjoy. It's level two, but for the level two, though, she doesn't need to. So far, she will create level two, a amazing awareness of your boot and every pose. Adha Chandrasana have moon pose with the exhalation. She decides that if she needs a block or not, which is your five, she will prefer to have a block and have the capacity to breathe and engage a little bit more. Good. Bend your knee to the chest and going into sugar cane. Keep pushing to your foot back, head back, both hands down to the floor. Five deep. Now, when you're ready, we're going into handstand. I will support her here, but try to imagine I'm not here, Clark. You need to go to your feet, and I will help you a little bit. Good. There you go. Hands up. Legs up. Keep the knees up. Good. Left foot forward, back heel down, parts back on asana with the hand on your hip. Sitting bones back, straight front leg. Straight bone legs, that is the most important part, will be to increase the awareness of the uh, front leg. and a half moon pose. Bend your knees to the chest and open up into sugar cane. Keep the breath with you all the time. down to the floor. When you're ready, jump back into your handstand. Lean forward with your hands. Push up, lean forward with your hands. Good. 
I do in the second one. Vinyasa Cobra Down dog Open the legs to Urva Kaliasana Urva Kaliasana We're going to separate the feet First uh, like a, a Hands apart And we're going to put the feet from uh, To outside Hands on your knees Sitting bones back and apart, create that space. You can even push uh, your right knee down and bring your left uh, shoulder in, but be pushing the right knee back. Not knee before, you know, just like, just your, you know, the right and the left shoulder in. Mm -hmm. And now on the other side, look like you push the knee back and the other shoulder in, helping you. Wow, now come back to the center. Now bring both knees back. Keep the knees back and now start scooping tailbone. Bring your elbows back. Now let's use the, the arm just to bring the belly in, navel in, bring the chin in. Now on top. Entrelace the last three finger, index finger pointing up and start going down in one. Keeps melting and down two. Go slowly. Three, the everything is that shaking this good part. Last one, inhale, lifting up a little bit, toes forward, arch lower back, and we're going into Chantra's pose. Keep the arching of the lower back, but keep the core engaging up all the time. As you see, Cloud have the heart melting and the head neutral, both heads down to the floor. Straight your legs with the inner rotation. And exhale to Prasarita Parottanasana 1. Stay with your powerful breath. Inhale, look up. Lean. Hold your big toes. And go into Prasarita Parottanasana 4. Inhale, and now going into a full split, means full split would be the part, the, the limit that Claudia have to push your outside part of your foot in. She have elbows down, but the core is strong, and the legs are inner rotating, pointing the pubic bone down. Good. Concentrate on your breath. And escape from there. And let's do one vinyasa looking this way. Mm -hmm. Push up, cobra, your shoulders back. And low back, down the. Now, chicken squat in the middle of your mat. Feet together, bakasa. And let's start from Malasana Cloud, just to let it go. Let your hips heavy, your heels heavy, take a deep breath. The whole idea is to enter into poses with breath and exit the poses with breath. It's not about anything else, just breath and body. Now set your hands for Bakasana. As you see, Claudia will put the hands a little bit wider than normal push up, engage the hands in hasta banda. Engage the knees into the midline. Lean forward and squeeze the knees. We're gonna do that for five. Spread your toes and bring the pinky toe back into your face now. Pinky, good. Two, keep breathing. Three, now your breath. Amazing, good. Four, and jump back. Good, Cobra, and now a very deserved child's pose. Let her enjoy her child's pose. Because in level two, we don't have many of these. But as you see, this is an amazing child's pose. Um, she has the knees 
uh, uh, why he presses a part, what created. She had all this space to let the stomach and everything is free for her if she needs to go and breathe. Uh, the hands, arms are engaged. You see she's not uh, collapsing. And that's going to help in her in some way to release the neck. Here, maybe a too deep for her to release more here and engage more here. Take a couple breaths, now re recover the, the, the breath, recover the sense of practice here and now. When we are practicing, practicing, it's very difficult sometimes to, to go back into a normal breath. And child's pose is the perfect moment to balance in breath. Now let's do dragon pose. We drag, um, first do dragon pose, so let's do hard opening pose. And she's in, in child's pose. Go to child's pose again, Cloud. And see, from child's pose, she just only move forward the chest. Hands are in khaki. And now I can tell Claudia to move forward like five, ten inches. Much. Good. You want to feel 90% of the weight on your chest. And maybe 5% of the opening in the chin. You don't want to have too much pressure in the neck. Take a deep breath. Imagine this part, the, the, the brow line, just getting heavy and you can melt in the chest down into the floor. And feel this kind of heaviness and like a gravity expanding all the chest area. Open the neck. Lengthen the neck, the fascia, everything. Now, you can stay there, but if you feel you can go to dragon pose, just bend the knee, bring the arms back, and hold the feet with your hands. When you hold the ankles, just flex your feet and push your feet away from you. Shoulders up, shoulders up, and breathe one. Kick the feet and open chest. It's like you're really entering to a machine of open your heart. Release the legs and flow back to child's pose five deep breaths. outside of the room and Claudia has a very normal down dog with the feet uh, pretty much touching the wall. You can walk one leg up into the wall and create a L shape. Perfect. She's very good even it's a little open which is even better because she's gonna have even more space. Uh, if you can see the core, the, her core is engaging, super lifting, arms are in, in, in a rotation, out of rotation, I'm sorry, and create this kind of opening and rotation for the shoulder. One leg up, in front, push to your heel, keep the length and length and length, and come back, and do the other one, in a rotate the legs, in a rotate the legs, rotate, even more, 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 good, and Come back and let's do that three more times each leg. Just get a little more into the That's it. Go back. The moment you get into alignment, remember, in rotate, push, in rotate the hip, the hip, the hip, the hip. Good. Two more each leg. She's working hard with the arms. In rotate your arms. More, more, more. Good, and come back down, 
and resting in child's pose with one fist on top of the other. She, did, she put herself immediately into the hip and then with the head. She maintained the circulation of the back and with the head a little bit higher, she's not collapsing the muscular energy. She's pretty much resting but engaging. So the body is in a very good position. Take a couple deep breaths. Very good to rest in this kind of child's pose after inversion. Now, we're going to ask Lao to move into the, I know, uh, you're doing this. We're going to keep here, we're going to put the leg up into a scorpion. Here, something is going to change. Camila, si quieres, put your hand, no, in, here, there you go. Good, she's going to have a little bit more short distance this time. The heels are, can be up into the, into the wall, no problem. Mm -hmm. And now walk into the same L shape. That is good to, to go there. Perfect. Now, right leg up. If you see, she's coming into perfect alignment. Now, the, the, the pose is telling her to lean forward first. Lean forward un montón. Uh -huh. Now, when she feels forward, male her heart and foot lifting here and head up. I'm gonna try to touch one, two, three, and she change. What she does is push the head three times into the feet. Now, lean forward more, more, male heart. Now, foot and head. Mm -hmm. One, inhale, now your heart. Two, Nice. And come back down. Rest and high child's pose. And just enjoy. Let the body to have the whole benefit of your practice, your inversions. These can poses rejuvenate us, helping us to move all the circulation, stagnant energy, or toxins. Now, Cloud, can move into the wall, separating your distance, one elbow from the wall, and jumping into a handstand. She measures, she put the hands on the elbow level. Mm -hmm. Inhale deep, right leg, go back, inner rotate, flex your foot, and now exhale, jump with the chin on your chest. Good. Nice. Chin on your chest. Good. Now, as you see, she's a little far away because we need that. Now bend your knees and separate your feet from the floor. Good. In the wall. Nice. If you see, she's going to sit back. She's like a try to put the seat in bones. Maybe she can do. She's very flexible. But you don't need to. Just flex. Now, belly in. Knees up. Scoop elbow knees up. Knees up. And now point your toes down into the head. When I say knees up, will be for cloud, knees to the head. Mm -hmm. And knees up. Push your knees up and forward bend with your heart and chest forward. Head forward. Knees up. And lean forward. One more. Good. And come back. Excellent. She can enjoy her handstand or go back into child's pose. How was it? Good? Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. You feel good? Not too much, not too late, not too slow. Claudia has, uh, that she's in a perfect balance way of uh, practice because she's very strong and the same way very flexible. But you will see her uh, too strong or too flexible. She's perfect balance between both. And this is what we want to develop. This kind of groundiness in the body, like this kind of heavy energy when you can use your muscles and in the way, in the same way, use in a way so gracefully, the poses look like effortless. But of course, if you're going into the practice, which is really high, uh, given 100% of your practice. We're gonna do the other side, just to keep Cloud moving and active. 
When she measured first the distance, always, always good to be mindful. Before she's going anywhere, it's good for her to help me hard. I sometimes I like to help because like a it's a space. Sometimes we don't know how to get there. Good. Now, belly in, and from there she's going into down dog. The other leg. Take a deep breath. I'm gonna ask you when she jumps, I want to bring the chin into the chest and the core into the back. Now, inhale there, exhale when you jump. Chin to the chest, breath catching. Chin into the chest. I know that is new for you, but lo metes el cuello cuando salta. In. Good. It's gonna be more core for her. Nice. Now, ve, separate. Don't need to go so back now, okay? Just keep it there. She just arching the lower back. Now, belly in, scoop tailbone. Knees together, not together, but a line, and knees up. Now, you're doing good. Pull your toes in. And, no separe las piernas, pero tampoco tan cerca. Ahí. Lifting forward. One. Excellent. Do you see that? Sporting amazing. In forward. Melting heart. Melting heart. Head up and pull back. Good. Every scorpion is different, amazing. You always is going to enjoy and release down. Let all the scorpion energy just enlighten you. Take a deep ujjayi breath. Good. We can come back into the center and I'm going to bring you our setup that I love because it's really helping us to see the whole pose. Okay, lay down looking this way now. I have a cousin. Lay down in your belly with the legs together. Let's start an S-Pin pose. Good. S-Pin pose. This is a very good pose to keep working in the lower back. With this pose, I repeat over and over, you can heal whatever, uh, many, many, many different lower back pains. Now, just bring your right arm in to support the pose. And hold the back leg from inside. Now, she will bring the knees together, kick the back leg full back like a somebody is gonna bring Claudia like, oh. Now from there, bend your elbow and going into Ada Bekasana, the head looking at Claudita. And now what she's looking for is don't lifting the left hip and just breathe. Here is going to be the hip, it's going to uh, lengthen the quadricep and open your left shoulder. If you feel you're going, doing good, going into high the kasana, but try to bring the left hip down flat. High. Breathe. And then let's do the other side. Knees together, right hand, open arm, kick back, kick back, kick back, kick back, and we're holding for a little bit, resistance, and then pull it. Okay. Now the opposite, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to her some kind of pressure, which is maybe good for her, and just breathe. She feel okay with that. She can bring the arm in front and go into high. Look up. If it that doesn't work for you, don't go anywhere. It's not working, okay? If you lose your breath, it's not a good place for you. Release one fist on top of the other and rest the rest. Now 
let's go to bow pose. Hold your feet from outside. We're going to ask Lau to close the knees and to bring the knees down to the floor. Hold on, hold your down to the floor. And bring the knees down and hips lifting. Good. Now, belly in. Scoop tailbone. And from there, lengthen. Great. Every time she inhale, she can lift it. Every time she exhale, she melting her forward. Good. No head. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, melting heart. Inhale, lifting. Mm -hmm. One more time. Knees to it. Good. Inhale, open to the side. Now allow the shoulder, everything up and down. Inhale, come back to the center. Open up. Exhale, going to the other side. Keep the breath constant. Is everything happen between your breath and you? Come back to the center. One deep breath up. Exhale, release. Five deep breaths. One fist on top of the other. Don't rest in flat. Even if it feels better, don't go for feeling better. Now we're going into one foot Bekasana, one foot bow. That is a hard pose. One, can I have a strap? Of course, you yes. can have a strap. Yes, that is a very important. You use the length or whatever you need for the drag. You're gonna have one foot. She's gonna be ready for full pose and the other one the cousin nice the only gonna say just squeeze there you go squeeze the back into me and come on one day pose. Have many, many different layers of the pose. Vinyasa. After Vinyasa, you can go into pigeon pose spread. Knee in front of you. Walk your back leg two inches in, two inches back. Walk your hands back out of rotation. Side body long. Exhale, hold the back foot and bring the leg in. Stay with your powerful breath. Kick the leg back, head neutral. Very good. If you want to hold the strap claw and going into a full pose. Inhale, kick the leg back. Exhale, bring the hands back into the mat and bring the hips down. Inhale, lifting hip, walk the hands back, hips down. And last one, take a deep breath. Walk a lot, your hands claw, you're right there. Me nice, melting, breathe, one, ready, in, hips forward and down, tranquila, forward and down, forward and down, and release, hip opener, both hands in front of your fingertips, elbows up, take a 
releasing her breath is a constant Ujjayi breath. She is challenged by the pose, by me, by the camera, but she sustains the breath as a point of regulation in her practice. Now, let's do the other leg. At home, all the time, if you want to make the class stronger, do vinyasa in between, but if you don't want to do too strong, you can skip some vinyasas too. Let's do the other leg. One foot pigeon pose. Chin pigeon. Walk the back leg. You see the left knee can lie with the mat. Walk the hand back out of the table. Arms. Keep the left hand front of you and back. Bend your back too. The first thing you do is kick back. Do you see? She's like lean back. And then bring the foot in. Coloca la mano encima de tu pie. Put your head on top of your other leg. Good. Square the hips back. Inhale. Kick back. Strongly. Exhale. Lean forward and down. Add your strap. You repeat everything you did. Click that. And kick back. Create the space. Exhale. Walk your hips a little bit. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. Good. And melting down. Inhale, lifting up, walk. Head back, melting down, hips down, push. Inhale one more time, push your foot back, Claudia, push your foot back. Awesome, and now stay there, melting your hips forward and down. Stay with your breath. Two, and release the pose. Fingers, tips. When you finish the next exhalation, let's go to vinyasa. And you sitting, look into the camera for double pigeon. Cross, double pigeon looking here. Put the left under and the right on top. Fire lock. Inhale, left hand back, right hand on top of your right knee. Inhale, arch lower back, head back, and push your right knee forward and down. Now, if your knee is down, start leaning forward and cross your hands and push your feet into your hands and feel the hips even more open. Let's do the other side. Do the other leg on the bottom. And the top leg. Right hand back. Left hand on the left knee. Arch lower back, head back. Lean back. Take a couple breaths. Feel the opening of the hips. Maintain the, the opening in the knee while you're leaning forward, crossing the hands in front of you. When you cross the hands, what she really does is push the big toe and the big toe pushing away from you. Now like the two fingers push the big toe and the big toe push away from your feet, you know? Esta parte. Muy bonito, saca los dos pies. And push away, uh-huh, and you pull up back. Then you're gonna target your, your hip for sure. <laughs> Claudia say yes. Now, vinyasa. After vinyasa, now shoulders up, slow, jump to, to lean forward, you're doing good there, and do half fish pose, left knee in, in, like in the camera, mm. there you go. Walk your hips up and back until you feel the position of your Inhale, bring the heel, heel a little bit more close to the leg. A little more, a little more, a little more. Yeah. Now, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, deepen the tree. So here, a few options. You can leave it there 
And she opened the bag, or she can hold the heel, try to lift the heel away from the floor now. Sacate el talón del pie. That is going to help in her to bring the hip down, or she can enter the hands in between the hand, legs, if that is an option for you. The only thing is you need to feel the breath constant. Constant, constant. If she's not breathing, for me it will be, oh, no, 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 it's too much for her. But I, I can listen to her breath, even if it's not strong, but it's good. Come back to the center and just do, uh, without moving, just knee on top of the knee, go mukasa. Inhale, left, right arm behind the back, and left arm over the head. When she interlaces her fingers, the first thing I, I ask for her is to lengthen, lean back. Exhale, forward bend. What she's going to do is she's going to pull the bottom arm up. Means the right uh, left arm is pulling the right arm up all the time. Pulling up, para hacia arriba, todo el tiempo. Come back, let's do the other side of the back. Left, left, half fish. Inhale, open up, right arm up, exhale. You can hold the heel as you see she's working into bring the hip and to lengthen the spine. And now when she breathes a couple times now, she can enter the hands in between her and the back if she wants. To the center, go mukasana legs and go mukasana arms. When you bring the knee, do you see she lifting the hips and now she has to move the hips to the right? I think it's a little bit more down, like two inches, a little bit more there. Now, when she comes, she feels more close, but it's going to be better even for her hips. Now, bring your other arm up, inhale, open up, side by low, close the elbow, which is here, close it back. And now remember, you're going to pull the bottom arm while you go down. Five deep breath. Inhale. Open up. Open legs wide apart. Ukabisha Konasa. Manually, she's going to inner rotate each leg. She do like three, three, four times each leg. It's very important because the legs will won't not rotate by themselves. She's in a good pose. Now inhale, open up. Exhale. The only thing is here. If you see then your feet, it's okay. Let them go back. If you see then your feet moving more inwards. Uh, that means you need to rotate even more. Uh, let me help you. Okay. So bend your knee. Mm -hmm. Means I have to put the whole foot. You see now, one foot going in and one foot going out. This is what you want to do. Do the foot with the leg. Do the same with the leg with the foot. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Now you see her feet now is pointing forward, which is good. Now flex. And lean forward. Now she's gonna work more in the inner rotation, in front, inner rotations of the leg, and outer rotations of the hips in front. Bend your elbows down. So if you can stay in a pity, and look forward, okay? Mm -hmm. And look. If I'm on top of her, she can relax. Relax. 
because I put all the effort and she can have it. When I'm leaving her, she has to re-engage. I have a teacher on top of you is super awesome because uh, somebody can give you a little bit more weight and you cannot develop. Pointing to the right. Pretty much an asana while we're looking in front way. No problem, feels good when somebody like <sighs> giving you that kind of <sighs> squeezing. Believe it or not, no, it's not so easy to relax in the poses. And when uh, you have someone or you put some weight, then you can really like, oh, let it go in the pose in your set. What we don't want in Skanda Yoga, uh, never is relaxing in the poses in a way of muscular level. Means Cloud, I think Cloud can be engaged, going to the other side, but internally she can relax, no Cloud? She, of course, the practice in the beginning, you're like, oh, I'm gonna relax, everything is shaking, I hate these toes, I'm sweating, I cannot breathe. That time is my time of relax. But now, after eight years, five years, ten years, and you mastering some poses and you enter to really, really enjoy this practice. Come back into the center one more time. She can be in the same level, but she can readjust. And now, go forward. Every time you inhale, just melting heart forward, plowing shoulders back. You see? And what a nice posture. Posture comes back and chest forward. Stay good. And you're working her look up. Good. Come back. Close your legs and go into Barakunasa. Inhale deep. Exhale forward bend. Push your elbows down and bring the knee as much as you can down. Claudia will put the elbow more close to the knee. Lo que se llama así, la vez. And lean forward and push that elbows down and down this body. Three more breaths. Engage that breath. Inhale up. Separate the legs like the black mat apart when we're going for shoulder opening. Arms, put your arm first, looking up, thumbs up, one looking down, go inside the lower ribcage in, other one, the other, both elbows up. If you cannot do one or two elbows, you can do just one of the other. Inhale, really close your eyes and release your jaw. You can open mouth, release all the tension of your face, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, while you're squeezing the knees and every exhalation, when it's a little bit of, oh, you're going into a deeper space of release tension, and in the same way, you let go all the pressure of your face. Two more deep breaths. Good. Now, release the hands, and we're going into look to the side, cloud, and we're going to put Bhutanasana and looking Mm -hmm. and one in your mat, keep elbows down and you will measure from there the distance of your hand. Elbows down first. And she knows, but I like to teach in this way now, you can even know what it is, put your hands where the elbows are. Perfect, perfect. And now shoulders up and back and lifting up. Chest up, toes down. Down, down, down. Lifting more, plow, plow, plow. More, more, more. Lifting more, head back. Lifting more, head back. Lifting more, head back. And go back. Down to the floor. Good. Now bend your left knee and put your right foot outside of your right knee. Preparation for yogi staff pose. Mm. Now inhale, lifting hips and bring the hips close to the Heel. Now, right arm up, exhale, and deepen the twist. Perfect. Look very far away of the other side. 
take a deep breath in. If you can hold the inside part of your other foot, go for it from inside. You can lift in the foot too far. Se puede levantar, pisa, no, maybe. And take it from inside. Good, and now try to put it down. <laughs> like I'm helping you to do this. Good, and release, that is awesome. Take to the other side. Here you integrate a lot of twisting portions in the, in the middle and upper back. Inhale, get close to the hip, side body long, and exhale, put your elbow, your shoulder, outside of your arch of your foot, that is cloud go very deep. Stay with your breath, now if you can bring the arm inside the other foot, just to increase the length, and sometimes happens, sometimes no. Good. Arch lower back, put the back leg, get closer, good. And release the pose, lay down on your back and bring your knee on your chest and take a little massage inside your chest. Make sure you continue breathing, you can use the breath at any moment. We're going to do dragon flat. Now with the with the legs up 90 degrees, we're gonna point in the fingertips next to your hips. Inhale there. And inhale when you're going with the legs down. Exhale when you're going there and up. One. We're gonna do eleven. Going up, up, up. Two. Recogiendo un momento. Go up. Three. Good. And continue. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Two more class. Ten. And the last one, just holding up with no breath. Go, exhale up and hold it. One, two, three, four, and start going slowly down and down. Preparation for bridge pose. Bend your knee, set your hands. Back down, bring your hands in prayer position for gratitude. Gratitude for something you never be grateful before. Now set your hands, set your feet, we're going to go pose, inhale, exhale on the floor, inhale, go all the way up, nice job, point the parts, shoulders together, excellent, toes in, heels out now, and maintain the knees into the midline, all the time, head back, five, keep moving the chest forward, no head but chest. Good. And look up, go down to the floor and rest in with one hand in your stomach, one hand in your heart. Connecting the chakras, connecting the energy. Good. 
on the corn, set your hands at your feet. This time you're going to get close, means you inhale going up, put your head down to the floor, put your hands back, feet back if it's needed, and up. Good. Now you can walk your feet if you need a little bit more or not. And now do push up. Exhale, head down. Inhale, chest away from you. Keep the head back. Good. Keep the head back. Good. Good. Try to put the forehead on the floor flat, like your forehead on the floor. Good. Two more like this. Forehead. Keep the head back. Keep the head back. One more. Keep the head back. Keep the head back. Nice and release. Keep your connection with your breath and rest in there for a couple of breaths. Now we're going into stand up we, uh, for Natarayasana. And we're going to use the strap. Let your strap be behind you. You can uh, face that way. But the first thing she's going to do is to bend one knee and place the strap. Now, hold the hand with the palm facing up, flat, the side, like this. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, inhale, sitting bones back, scoop tailbone under, and now head. Close, good. Now the other hand back. Inhale, keep the leg back, like I just we did. Exhale, extend the arms, straight your top leg, the, the leg you extend. Good. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, lifting the arms up. Good. Walk your hands back two inches into the strap. And breathe. Extend your bottom leg, extend your bottom leg, extend your bottom leg, beautiful pose, good, let's take a moment, go center, keep the breath, it's a very, like with two scandals, it's a very important concentration, going into the other leg, just in a slow, mindful, with alignment, using all the techniques, you know, to make the pose solid, and then with that alignment, she can even go deeper. Inhale, kick away from your side, create the resistance, and then walk your hands back, melting hands forward. Mm -hmm. Inhale, kick back, resist, exhale. Now, very solid, extend the leg you're standing. Extend the leg you're extending, melting heart, melting heart, push your foot back, push your foot back. Good, and release. Lay down in your back and go into shoulder stand. Mm -hmm. We suggest to do two of those, but I know Claudia is here in a huge pressure by me, by her, by the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now it's just going into shoulder stand. Take a momentum, bring your hands Elbows in, shoulders in, and walk your hands a little bit more down, flow, exhale. Legs flat, feet toes flat, and legs a little bit more back into the, the elbows and head back. Great. Stay there for 10 deep breaths. Take a deep breath, let's count in the breath. After 10, legs down. Release the hands and start pushing the hands down to the floor. 
He said has a strong wall with coming down and leave a bad name. Bird the wind by the push your hand, push your hand, swing your hand slow. Little by little and wait. And now you're going down so slow until you're going to be a fish pose. Push your elbows in, keep the chest open. Keep the arching of the lower back and the breath for you. Breathe in. Going into intense. And after the intense, keep the breath there. Bend your uh, eye, eye up the, the middle post. Put your right left foot on top of the right. Good. Exhale. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Interlace hands. Arch your lower back first. Like keep the neck away from you. Now both legs. And you arch in the lower back. Nice. Now straight your right leg and bring the hands behind the heel. And bring the leg back into face, or you can put the leg behind the head on the floor. It depends on flexibility and breath. Make sure you are there, you are breathing, you are engaging. And slowly come back down, and let's do the other leg. And after arch, bring the leg, stand, and over the head. Slowly come back down. And we're going to happy baby pose from there. Bring one knee and the other. Knee, knee touching the floor and then the other knee touching the floor. Touch the floor. Good. A little touch. Now both knees try to touch the floor. And bring the legs behind the head. You can bring one leg first. And you can even try or go onto this hand. Breathe. The other leg. Back, both knees together to the right. Two knees together to the other side. When you're ready to join. Shavasana, just go back to the center. And lay down for amazing Shavasana. Make sure you are totally relaxed. If you need a bolster or something, carry any one. And take a deep breath through your nose. And exhale through your mouth like ah.
Your arm between your hands. Spread from the area. Relax, feel the stretch. Bring your knees to your chest. And then bring it to your back. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Allow the breath to be there for you, for me. And start feeling up. Meditation time. With your hands in front of your heart and the sound of the sun. We bring the energy of gratitude, realizing we enter into a new cycle of perception. We're going to be for 13 days with the energy of the yellow sun. It's going to be this kind of bring life and enlightenment in everything we do. We're going to say one on, pray the God, and to be, send the blessings to, into the rest of the people in the world for everybody find happiness and freedom. Inhale deep. Namaste. Namaste. Gracias, Claudi. Thank you, everybody. Remember, 20 days to follow the Maya calendar from today until the yellow sun. Challenge yourself.